We start here, an island in the Caribbean Sea inhabited by the Caquicio. In 1499 Antonio de Ojeda and Amerigo Vespucci traveled to America for the first time commissioned by the Catholic monarchs. The Spanish and Italian navigators went off the coast of Venezuela and also arrived on the island of Aruba. By then, the Caquicio spoke what some referred to as a broken Spanish. This trip was the first of a series of what became known as the Andalusian journeys that were supposed to be proof of the veracity of Colon's version of the New World's riches. After this trip, the navigators returned to Spain with stocks of cotton and wood from the island. Even though they didn't find gold, an interest was kindled in Aruba and they colonized the ABC Islands. In 1508, the Spanish crown appointed Alonso de Ojeda as its first governor there, strengthening their hold on Aruba. However, in 1636, after considering the territory unprofitable the Spanish left the islands and these were acquired by the Dutch for nearly two centuries. Because of conflicts in Europe, they were unable to resist Napoleon's influence. So the Royal Navy took advantage and occupied Dutch colonies. The British occupied the islands from 1799 to 1802 and left them for two years due to a truce in Europe. Later they returned to Aruba and stayed until 1816. In 1816, the Dutch took possession of the island again. Papiamento was influenced by the colonial powers mentioned before as well as West African slaves and the Portuguese although they didn't colonize the island. The first proof of the language Papiamento was discovered in a letter from 1775. In 1986, Aruba seceded from the Netherlands Antilles, to become officially an autonomous Caribbean country within the Kingdom of the Netherlands. All in all, the colonial past and migration show the Aruban society as a hybrid culture, which is also reflected in their language, Papiamento.